I had intended to spend my five minutes uh, addressing issues in relation to my brief communications, energy and natural resources, but I changed my mind this morning, and I'm sure Minister Rabbit will be a tad disappointed at that, but there we are. I changed my mind because I got this, and every TD, every minister and every senator got one of these this morning. Four-page newsletter from Irish Autism Action, Down Syndrome Ireland and Inclusion Ireland. And their document poses three fundamental questions. Why do people with a disability have to battle for the most basic supports? When was the last time a cabinet minister made a statement on issues affecting people with a disability and their families? And where is the government commitment to treating people with a disability as equal citizens? This document also paints through numbers a very dark picture of where we're at at this point in time. And I dislike reading figures, and I hope there aren't people of a nervous disposition listening in, but these figures need to be put on the record of the Doyle. There are 763 children in this state waiting six months or more for an assessment of need under the Disability Act. The €325 Euro annual cut to the Respite Care Grant. 847 is the cumulative annual reduction in disability uh, uh, allowance since 2008. 15% re reduction in resource teaching hours since 2011. 1,900 children awaiting assessment by a primary care occupational therapist. 1% of adults in receipt of disability allowance engaged on community employment scheme in 2012. 34,617 people awaiting speech and language therapy. 450,000 home help hours cut in August 2012. 200 home care packages per month cut in 2012. 121,353 pupils in a class of 30 or more 5% of adults with an intellectual uh, disability in open employment and 20,000 people with an intellectual uh, disability requiring a new or an enhanced multidisciplinary support service between 2012 and 2016 as we project ahead. I could go on and on. The motorised transport grant, the carers allowance reduction, that by now infamous and dreaded medical card probity review, whatever that means, and so on and so forth. Uh, Sinn Féin proposed earlier this year that all budget decisions and all budget choices should be equality proofed and poverty proofed. And it's very clear to every person who goes behind the spin by government and who reads the budget documentation that budget 2014 far from improving the situation for people with a disability and their families, will make matters infinitely worse. The continuing reduction in public services by state and non-governmental agencies and the flat refusal of government to, to uh, equality and poverty-proof uh, poverty your choices has ensured this. When Irish Autism Action and Down Syndrome Ireland and Inclusion Ireland ask Will you make people with a disability a priority for this government? The answer jumping out from the pages of Budget 2014 is no, we will not. Now, I know that there are very decent, very honourable people, ministers, backbench TDs, government TDs and opposition TDs. I know this. But government needs to do, and I'll conclude on this, Laska Hira, government needs to do one decent one honourable, one honourable thing, and you can do it if you wish to do so. Tomorrow night we're going to be debating on Sinn Féin's private members' business. You could Im immeasurably improve the quality of life for deaf children and their families if you were to immediately authorise the fitting of bilateral cochlear implants instead of the current mean-spirited, uncaring practice of fitting one. Imagine if it was your child or grandchild. Would you consider it decent that he or she should go from hearing to deafness because the single implant failed? Or would you consider it decent 
that he or she could never fully enjoy the beauty of music because this state, on behalf of the people of this state, doesn't care enough to fund bilateral implants. It would cost 12.8 million euro and would transform the lives of 200 children. Now that is value for money. So I would finish up by asking, look at, do the right thing and do it now. Because not only is it good value for money, not only would it make this transformation in the lives of 200 children, but it would restore some semblance of decency to what is a mean, is a mean-spirited budget 2014.